around Tinney from Mini Bowl Design. Today I'm out in the front yard, actually this afternoon. I think it's uh, around 4.30 right now. And now UPS just showed up. And brought me a box, so let's go in and see what I got. M7s. Uh, how many we got here? We got hundred and fifty M sevens. No beans, because we were right down to the last four or five. But now we're stocked up now. Life is good. That's real good because I was down to four or five, and these are pretty good seller. I sell them pretty much every day, M7s, and uh, I think I had this box here, I had uh, four left. Four. And, you know, that probably go a couple of days, <laughs> and then I'd be out. I don't want to do that. So, uh, and I just ordered another big batch of aluminum for the uh, Never Stoves, which I've been working on today. And I've got one down there that I'm testing. Uh, works great. Camera sideways. <laughs> Whoop. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Headed outside in uneven ground. That's better. <laughs> uh, I've got six of these never stoves that I just finished. Uh, one of them is a souped up custom model. Guy specified some exact things he wanted done to it to kind of tech it out. And that one's done. And I'm not even going to show you that one because if I do, everybody will want one. When the guy gets it, I think he's going to be happy with it. It's, uh, it's a nice stove. So anyway, uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six of these done, and they're all spoken for. I got an order today, and that, that took the last one. So uh, if you want one, <laughs> email me, and I'll put you on the list because... Uh, I, th I think I'm all caught up, so if, if, you, if you email me today, I can probably have one for you in a couple days, because I'm obviously going to have to make yet another batch. Uh, just, you know, for, uh, someday I'm going to get caught up enough, or get good enough at building them, so I can probably put them in the store, but I don't see that happening anytime in the near future. It's, it's pretty much right hand to mouth right now. <laughs> And that's a good thing, but boy, these things are a bear to build. Uh, lots and lots. So like I say, two hours for one stove, and I've got six of them. So I've got like 12 hours worth of work in it. Now, on a later note, uh, I'm goofing around with uh, an adjustable remote uh, just because it was so dead simple. And here's what I've uh, come up with. <clears throat> I made one out of a piece of PVC just to try the uh the theory out here we go that's pretty obvious how that works you just uh slide it you know up or down and it's big enough so it goes right around the bottle that's an eight ounce bottle now my theory on this is if you're going to use a remote uh for long burns i i always use an eight ounce bottle and that's what i'm going to make them for is an eight ounce bottle but i think you probably i'm going to make the body the full width on this one uh, same as a base, and you, you could use a four ounce bottle if you wanted to. Uh, but anyway, that's what I'm up to now. Uh, I milled this out of a solid piece of PVC, but I'm not going to do that. 
Uh, what I did was I went online and I and I don't know how it's going to work. Uh, I bought a piece of plastic that is that diameter and that wall thickness, so I can just slice them off and mill a slot in them, and that's it. Kachin. Uh, now, when I build the next batch of remotes to go inside of them, instead of having a flat base with the side with a big base, I'll make them the same diameter all the way up, so they'll slide right into this sleeve, and. Uh, that would make a pretty good adjustable remote. Hey, if you want one, fine. If you don't, that's okay, too. It, it's kind of a fun thing to goof around with. Once you get it set, though, that's pretty much it. And you can set it at it, any height you want to. You can go in 164th increments if you want to. Anyway, uh, that's what I'm up to on that. And this gentleman that wants the, uh, uh, ordered the stove all teched out, he wants an adjustable remote. So uh, that stock is supposed to be here tomorrow. So... I'll probably be able to put that, make that, and put it with his order tomorrow. But I'm going to hang on to that until the stock gets here. The stove is all done and ready to go. And I've got to go in and email all the other gentlemen and tell them that uh, their stoves are ready to go. So, uh, get the urge to work on the Velomobile again. I might, well, see, I can't work on it tomorrow because uh, I got hit pretty hard today on orders. Had had some really big orders and a lot of them. I had uh, like 12 orders, but you know, like three of them were huge. Anyway, so I just looked in the drawer and I'm all out of BIOS 5s. You notice that's a reoccurring thing, BIOS 5s, I'm always out of them. And uh, slimline remotes, I'm out of those. And I'm out of nions, so. But I, the nions I'm cutting out of them. I've got stuff all cut to build a few. I mean, not nions, elites. I'm all out of elites. Uh, but I've got the stock to build everything all cut to make a few more elites. But uh, back to the BIOS 5s. I think people have finally figured out uh, over time that if you want one of those Bud Light stoves, mine's the one to buy. Comes with a wick all installed on every one of them. Has a standoff so you put a, co a pot, cold pot on it, won't go out. It's got the jetting that we've experimented with for 10 years. Well, not that I many, probably five years to get the jetting where it's supposed to be, and it's jetted perfectly. The flawless inside one piece stove, thin walled uh, between the two walls, so they light right up quick, prime fast. It's just the Cadillac of the uh, alcohol stoves if you want an open top stove, and it comes with the 12 centimeter cook kit. And I'm almost out of 12 centimeter pots, but I've got a hundred more. Uh, 12 and 100 more uh, 10 centimeter coming. It's supposed to be here tomorrow. Thanks, David. And uh, so I'll be all set there. And, and I've been selling a lot of 12 centimeter cook kits lately uh, with a BIOS 5 in it. And a carbon felt windscreen, a hand wrap, and a lid. It's a nice little kit. And if you're just going to go out and do the Appalachian Trail, I think that's a kit you want. If you're, if you're doing miles and you're not doing the gourmet thing, I think that's the stove you, that's a cook kit you want. 30 bucks comes with everything. Life is good. So, uh, I'm going to go in and take it easy for a while. Uh, maybe tomorrow afternoon I'll work on the Velomobile. Depends on whether I get the BIOS and the Slimline remotes made. Maybe I'll have some time in the afternoon. Uh, I've got a little bit of tubing left. But I probably ought to wait till I get the, the new tubing because uh, it's a little different size. Yeah, I probably ought to do that. I'm talking to myself on camera. <laughs> I'm Timmy from Mini Bull Design. Get out and hike, take a friend, enjoy the great outdoors, and more important than anything, try to have some fun today, and try to have a really great day. Bye-bye!